Hi everybody! Welcome to Dunbar Academy Quick Tips. I'm Jamie Dunbar, and today's quick tip is about one of the best ways to make dog training incredibly fun and ruthlessly effective. Before we get started, please make sure you're subscribed so you never miss one of our videos. And as always, if you'd like to learn more about this topic, head to DunbarAcademy.com and check out our online dog training courses, many of which are completely free. Okay, back to the matter at hand. If you want to train a well-behaved dog, you should look for methods that are both fun and effective. If the training is not fun, you and your dog are much less likely to actually do it. If the training is not effective, your dog's behavior won't improve. One of the best ways to make sure that your training is both fun and effective is by making training into a game. Games are incredibly powerful for several reasons, and the best illustration of this is the canine games, the dog training sports competition that my dad, Dr. Ian Dunbar, created way back in the 90s. A canine games event is fun-filled and action-packed. Each game was designed to be an exciting competition, a good show, and a test of really useful abilities, so all the dogs are learning and perfecting real-life skills that will make them a real pleasure to live with and allow them to enjoy extremely high levels of freedom and quality of life. In their heyday, we put on some pretty big events inside some pretty huge arenas, with stages and lights and speakers and thousands of spectators and dozens of dogs. The crowds would cheer and groan in response to the amazing come-from-behind victories and epic fails. This all made for one of the world's greatest training environments. Super stimulating, very distracting, and incredibly motivating, where behavior and reliability was carefully measured, recorded, and compared. Sadly, it's been a few years since our real, full-scale canine games has taken place. But there are still plenty of easy ways that you can take advantage of the power of games when you train at home with your dog. The easiest way to start this is by gamifying some of your dog's basic obedience skills. Put up a whiteboard and start keeping track of your dog's best performances on some basic benchmark skills, like longest sit stay, or fastest time through an off-leash following course, or most sit down stands in a minute. Every time your dog sets a new personal best, make a big deal out of erasing the old record, writing the new one, and having a big celebration for your dog. Have them hop onto a chair, play some music, and put a medal around their neck. Then give them the best food treats you have. Or take them out for a walk, or a game of tug, or whatever it is they love most. Let them know that you're proud of them and that they have achieved something special. If you live in a household where there are multiple people and one dog, you can make your whiteboard into a leaderboard to keep track of the personal best for each handler, so everyone in the household is competing to get the best performances out of the dog. A nice side effect of this sort of gamification is it makes quantification fun. If you want to approach dog training scientifically, you have to measure behavior so that you can see if it's actually improving. By maintaining a leaderboard, you can clearly see your dog's behavior improve, and you can see which handlers and which methods are most effective. Or, if you live in a household with multiple dogs, have the dogs face off for obedience challenges, and only the winner gets the reward. So, for example, you could have recall races between your dogs, or standoffs to see who can stand stay for the longest time. It's amazing how motivating it is for a dog to see another dog get a reward while they get nothing. Or even better, compete against a friend that's handling their own dog. Now, it's not just your dog that's competing, but you're in the competition as well, with your dog as your teammate. Better still, invite a bunch of friends and make it an event. Start your own informal canine games club. Invite a half dozen friends who have dogs for a game of musical chairs, Kong Retrieve, Take and Drop, or Doggy Dash. I'll include a link in the description below if you'd like to learn more about the canine games and how to play the various games we invented, or you can invent your own. The more you put into it, the more fun you'll have. And even if it's all very casual, you'll start to get some of that nervous performance anxiety energy that makes the real canine games such a great training environment. And Everyone who participates will be motivated to practice so they and their dogs can do their best come game day. If you can get your dog to listen to you in this kind of exciting, 
overstimulating environment, they'll be much more likely to listen to you in the course of everyday life. When you encounter the sort of everyday distractions that can reduce your dog's reliability. Let's review. 1. Gamify training with your dog. Mount a whiteboard to track your dog's best performances on basic skills and make a big deal every time they break a personal record. 2. Add some competition. Have different members of the family compete with the same dog and write it down on a leaderboard. Or have dogs compete against each other and only the best performance is rewarded. Or three, teach your dog to play the canine games, each of which teaches important real life skills in the context of a sports competition. Invite your friends and host your own informal canine games event so you can, four, have the most fun you've ever had with your dog. Thanks for watching Dunbar Academy Quick Tips. I am Jamie Dunbar, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching this video. If you'd like to learn more, make sure to visit DunbarAcademy.com and check out our selection of free dog training and behavior courses. If you'd like to watch more Dunbar Academy YouTube videos, click here or here. And if you want to watch new videos as we post them, don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications.